All right, so let's talk about the matchups. Uh, game one was against Marine Sess. We two of them. Um, but it was really hard because I had no idea what to do against this giant beat stick that they would summon that has like 4,300 attack and can't be targeted. However, if you summon Guarded Chimera and pop their field spell, then you're all good. He Nibiru me when I did that. And then we had more resources to just keep snowballing after that. Game two, he summoned another thing. Um, was about to equip it, but then we nibbled him. So then that was great. We did have some fusions on the field, so <laughs> so that did suck. But we already take that game two zero. Um, uh, definitely needed more galaxy or cosmic cyclones against that deck. Then um, who did we face? After that, we played Punk. We went into time game two. Because, no, we went into time game three. Uh, I took game one. He took game two um, with Psychic and Punisher. And then game three, we got into time. But he was going to beat me with Psychic and Punisher on the next turn. So we were able to, really, we were able to close that one out. So, And I had more life points. So it was great. Because he kept paying. And Masquerade, I'm probably going to put Masquerade to two. Because going into time sucks. So that works. Can you change this around? She has a little milky, but her straw's the other way. Um, let's see what happened after that. Okay, then game three, Kashira O2. I couldn't do anything against it. Um, actually, game one um, took like thirty-seven minutes because we just kept going back and forth. And I had Dust Dragon, Cartesia, and Albaz on the field, and my opponent only had Fenrir, and he had like nothing else going on. And I could have just attacked. But I decided to fuse, and then he banished, and then negated, and then nothing went right after that. So then I ended up losing game one. We timed into game two, and then at that, I just lost. So, Kashira, still a, a death that I cannot seem to beat yet. I could beat everything else but Kashira. So I don't know if I have to change some things in the main deck, or just change my mentality when playing the deck. Against the deck. I don't know. Um, then... Round four, we played against Runic Naturia. Uh, game one was great. We were able to, uh, what did we do? We fused a lot. He tried, He did negate a lot of things with his Runic cards, but we are able to get a lot of things off the field and super poly his Naturia Beast and something else. And his Mole Cricket into Mud Dragon. So that was great. And then called Dark, he couldn't target anything else. So we were able to take that game. Then game two, game two, um, he summoned Baron, and then we even lead, and then he negated, and then we even lead again, and then we got rid of his field, and he only had Runic Fountain on the field. Um, but he couldn't come back after that. Ah, sucky. Ah. Um, and then we were able to get that. So we got 3-1 at our first locals in forever. It was 19, 18 people. So it was four rounds. Um, I think we got like third or fourth place, really. Something like that. Because uh, we never got below table three. And we won that game. So I think we're in the top five. I'm not sure. They don't really play it like that. But every win you get, you get two packs. Uh, so we got three wins, so we got six packs, we got three OTS packs, three Maze of Memories, and we didn't play anything. Except Solid Judgment Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. So, that can help in the future. I think that might help next format, I'm not sure. So we'll hold on to that and see where we go from here. But I had fun, and hopefully you guys stay tuned for the next episode. And we have a pack of box battle, but we're going to put that in a different video. It's going to have its own video by itself. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for that. Against Josh, it was Photon um, Hypernova. It was great. It was fun. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to join a tournament. We're going to go to the sneak peek at the end of the month. We're going to have a box battle. And yeah, that's all that's going on right now. But guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for everything. And as always, I'll catch you later. Peace! All right. Let's get tournament. Let's see what we got. I think if I didn't you see the OT line? It's nothing. Sacred Tree, Hanzo, Token. 21.
Well, game one, I think if I play a little bit better, maybe I'll win. But, um, your, your last combo is like you're trying to castle someone halfway. No, no, no. It's just the. It's anything. I don't think so. Aquamere puppet. Impurely happiness. Let's do this. All right, guys, we went to our first locals in forever. We got 3-1. We got lots of packs. We got three amazing memories. We got two OTS tournament pack 20, one OTS tournament pack 21. Also, we have some pack openings from other people as well. We have... Hey, it's Eric. Yeah! It's Eric, a.k.a. Taku, on uh, every, everywhere else that isn't IRL. <laughs> I also got 3-1. Hey! We play the same deck. Packs, packs, packs. Yeah, we're all, we're all about opening packs today. Yeah. All right. And then we'll just hop into the maze. Hell yeah. So, Alright, so first off, I'm looking for any good ulti for 20. I think it's like Rhinohar, Oliver, I forget, and the chair. Uh, you just mixed up two OTS packs. Oh, I did, yeah, my, 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 I'm so sorry. Alright, so we got, ooh, and the man played on. Funny side deck card against, uh, against Cash Tier players. Really? No one plays it. Smeller, and, oh, Harold. Okay. Harold's not bad. Nice. It sucks that they limited it to one because yeah. uh, obviously Ishizu was just too dominant. But, yeah, we take this. Alright, so we're gonna go into. Oh, T. Oh, T. Oh, T. Oh, T. Yeah, let's see how we go. Alright. Now it's my turn to take Keenan Sullivan. Alright, the anticipation is killing me. It's killing me. Uh, I got a puppeteer, mischief of the nose, and a uh, black feather counter. Oh, you gotta love the tokens. Yeah. I hate the tokens. <laughs> the tokens? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's interesting, but hey, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know? I'm so mad I wasn't playing during Nib. Alright, here we go. Alright, come on, let's go, let's go, OT. Aquamirror. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, I thought I saw nice. some shine there. Know, me too. Marley's not bad though. Okay, now we're going into Maze. Alright. I was trying to decide between this and uh, Amazing Defenders because I actually want Purely stuff, but huh? I'll just wait for like yeah, it's to see how like the price goes. I, right now Purely's going for like 30 bucks. So it's crazy. Can you believe that? Like, <laughs> my god. Alright, so we got Overload Fusion, Super oh. Soldier Ritual, number 39 Utopia right now. Burial from a different dimension, double attack, wind and thunder. Alright, next pack. Oh, you wanna see an Ultra? I know, I wanna see Baron right off the top. That'd be sick. Alright, Imperial Iron Hall, yo, cash to your side deck. <laughs> Falton Orbital. And we got a Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder. Gate Guardian. Chaos Form, AFD Performer yes. Calculus, Mech Knight Red Moon. Okay. Alright, 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 not bad. Last, last pack. pack, let's do this. Uh, last pack, Magic. I did not, I did not actually, I didn't play here. Alright. Ooh, Treacherous, Dual Link Staple. Super Soldier Ritual, Side Oh, I gotta love the Side Beasts. Yeah, I remember when this card was like $21 a month because mm -hmm. there were no repairs. And now, someone leaked it as a CR. Yeah. yeah. I was like, nah, I don't think so. Yeah. Gross. Ooh, Mudan. Yo, shout out to the. Shout out to Rika Sun Avalon. Black 3 and Deep Archer. Alright, anyone up? Yeah, let's go. Alright, OGS packs. 121. <laughs> yeah. I have a good picture of it. I pray to the Lord. I get. Probably not. Beaver. Beaver. Beaver's not bad. That's a super. I think it's still, still pretty expensive. Right? I think it's like a dollar, two dollars. Something like that. This. Ooh. I have a brand it. Okay. OTS 22. Branded Fusion Ulti. Woo! Can't wait. I can't wait. My wallet's gonna cry. And then got to go with us. Right? Two photons. No, 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 no. That's not fair. I do not need that in my life. Oh my god. Imagine a max rarity branded duck. Everything. Oh my god. And it still loses to like a structure that common. I'm gonna cry. Okay. Yep. I didn't realize he was the bottom. Oh, oh. Yeah, so I don't need to it's actually, it's actually a duck I want to try because it's kind of limited. It's it looks, yeah, it's very funny. Just they just shuffle around on those main ones. Big Bang. The one out. Circle of Fairies. They're actually a really good call. I know you can do like um, punk, uh, punk plant. Bugs. Really? With a uh, Diablo Lantis. Uh, yeah, Diablo Lantis, the, 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 the insect synchro, which is yeah. funny as hell. Well. Sick? I didn't know that. Yeah, and then you can do, oh my god, it's like you can end on some weird ass boards. Mm -hmm. uh, you can end on the um, the Bee Trooper counter trap, which is a, uh, which resets itself. It's a counter trap for monster effects, and it can reset itself. Huh. 
Neat. Let's go. Go time. Get this uh, thrust. I, I, just, I want both fight stuff. That's what I want. Yeah. Hey, this, what are you guys talking about? Stand it. Stand it. Chaos switch. Hey. Okay. Your turn. Right. More packs. One, two, 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 Not bad. You have one OT ray already? Good stuff. Ah, uh, another beaver. Ah, kings. Kings are good call. Ooh. Okay. OTS. I have pulled two ulti Fender and Rhinos, but no, no blue. Oh. Come on. Ah, uh, Pearly. You need the third one? <laughs> I only need two. <laughs> Pearly cute, though. Hopefully next time I'll actually go for it. It's actually a pretty good course. Ooh, nice. Okay. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm a little bit, I'd be a little bit sad if I could pull for all, mostly because I already paid for one, so let's just see. You paid for what? I already paid for a Barone, so... Oh. <laughs> Side beast! Oh my god. Nobody's pulled anything! <laughs> Alright, last pack. We just saw an OT on the Yeah, someone pulled an OT cherries. Don't worry. I got uh, a Luber right here. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh -huh. Oof. Oh my. Right. Wow. Hey, right, can you record me? It's up to you, I got you guys, all right? Yeah, all right. Give us the fresh content. We got all the packs. We're going to do Maze of Memories first. We need oh, that Excel happen. Synchro. Oh, yeah. We love Stardust. Ready? Stand up. Ritual. Ah, oh, Cola Can. Cola Can. All right. Okay, no, no problem. No problem. Waste of no time here. Two packs. Come on, let's go. One, two, three, to the front. Ready? Chaos Form. Zephyrus. Soul. Sui Jin. People of Punk. Ah, oh, Overlay Network. Okay, so it's four to the front. Alright, here it is. Here's the Ocha. Ready? Or the Collector Ray. Four? Yes. Alright, cost down. Soul. Zephyros. Deep Dark. Prey of the Jaraguma. Overlord Fusion. And. Ah! Uh, Solid Judge is good though. Yeah. Okay. That's the best Super Okay. That's like three bucks. Yeah. Let's get rid of 21. Do we see, do we see an imprint? I don't see anything. Oh no. <gasps> Tear, oh my Abnus, hey. god, the, What is that centering? Oh the god. centering is horrible on that. Holy crap. I've seen yeah. worse. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I don't see anything. 22? Shot. Ah, oh, not a hero. Come on. Come on, Aluber, you're with me here somewhere. Do we see anything? I don't see anything. Oh no. Hanzo? Maron? Yeah, that's the thing you Oh, oh, that's yeah. good though. That's a good card. Hey, yeah, all that's right. Card. All right. Let's go. We did it. What's up, guys? Momo Jury is here, and welcome back to episode three of playing Yu Gi Oh! competitively as a father. And we're going to go over um, a recent tournament I've been to, the cards I've picked up, and all that good stuff. And we also have some uh, extra pack openings after the tournament. We have a box battle with Josh. We have a lot of things going on. So, first, I wanted to show you guys the deck. And the deck performed beautifully. We went 3-1. Uh, we only lost to Cash Tira. Um, round 1, we played... Uh, who did we play? Round one? Oh, round 1, we played Marine Cess. Round 2, we played Punk. Round 3, we played Cash Tira. And round 4, we played Naturia Runic. So I think we did a pretty good job. So here is my preliminary build of the deck. Um, it's going to change again because I'm going to another tournament this week. So we're going to have fun. Uh, so we have three Fallen of Albaz, of course. I hate playing two. We're playing three Aluber, two Tragedies, and two Mercariers. Uh, I like this because I want to be able to play through Ash because the way people have been making their branded deck is that they have this whole combo off of branded Fusion. But if they Ash it, which everyone actually did to me... <laughs> Every game I played, every match I played, I got ashed at least once or at least once, a lot of times twice. 
So we want to be able to play around it. We're not playing um, cross the designator because if we don't see it that turn, it's just dead to us. So, I mean, it's great in a mirror match and stuff, but it just was not what we needed. So this is amazing. And then we're playing, we're going back to the edge and chain um, package because this helps us play through Ash. We can still end on one to three fusions if we really want to, depending on our hand. So this is amazing. And then we're also playing two Nibiru. We're main decking two Nibiru because Kaiju's people are playing around it. And Nibiru actually came up a few times. So three is a bit much, I feel, right now because people do play around it. And I could just play like one Kaiju in the main deck as well. But the deck is already 45, by the way. So we're going to try to play around that. So those are the threes and the two ofs. The one ofs we have Ad Libitum. Uh, Albion, Cartesia, Ecclesia, because I love this card, to be able to uh, just special summon it and then fusion, just like that, is amazing. And then one Serenia, which came up a lot. It, um, it got sent a few times with um, Dust Dragon, and it's really nice. So we're going to keep it like that. Now for the spells, of course, we're playing Triple Branded Fusion because we have them now. And Branded Fusion is amazing. I can't believe it's coming OT in OTS Pack 22. That sounds terrific, terrifying. I hope I'm able to get some. Then we're playing three Branded Opening because we're playing lots of Branded cards. And then we're also playing three Fusion Deployments because you want to get out the Albash, you want to get out the Cartesia, and you want to have fun. And then because we're not playing... Um, cross out designate we're playing triple triple tactics thrust so we can get um we can set our imperms get a fusion deployment we can play through interruptions and have a lot of fun all right then we're playing of course two parmalizations and two fright for patchworks because it just it helps it works it's what we need we love um consistency this is a plus one automatically and then we just keep plussing no matter what then for the one ofs we play one branded in red we might bump this up to two because we're playing more branded cards sorry little one's right there hi little one hi we're playing one branded loss and a lot of people aren't playing this but i'm playing the theater because i want to fusion summon as many times as i can without my opponent stopping me then Goat Sark and Called by the Grave. We should probably put Foolish Barrel in so we can dump our Serenir, dump our Tragedy, but that's somewhere we'll go to later. Goat Sark just hits everything we need. Then we play two Imperms and two Evenly Match in the main deck. This has helped so much. I was able to Evenly Match a runic player twice when they had baron on the field like they were able to negate everything i had up until the battle phase and it was insane so evenly match is definitely main deckable because they don't play a lot of like back row protection and then of course the one retribution now i do i am going to make some changes for this week's event I'm going to do the Keeper Dragon Magic build with Instant Fusion, and we're going to put Branded um, Banishment in the main deck. So that is all of the main deck. We'll go to the extra deck next. And of course, we're going to be playing two Mirror Jade because Mirror Jade's amazing. And we hate Cash Terra. We're playing two Albions for the same reason and two Lubellions. And I hate that we have to do this, but we have to... Like, normally I would just play one Lubellion because you can just keep recycling it. But because they want to banish everything, it's kind of what we got to do. And for the last target for Albaz is Rindblum. Because it's just an amazing card. Then some of it once, though. Probably should figure something out with that. Then for the Despiers, we're playing one of each. One Perskinian, one Masquerade, and one Curtis because we're not playing the Dragoon package. Maybe with the Keeper Dragon Magic, we'll go to Dragoon, but I'm not so sure. And since we're not, we're, we might go to the Dragoon package after for this week, but we have to get a Dragoon, and that's just money. And then we have to get two Dragoons because Kestir sucks, so we might not do that. Uh, then for the Fusion targets, we're playing one Dragoon Sepalia, 
Garura and Mud Dragon. These have come up so many times. I haven't summoned Garura yet, but Mud Dragon and Dragon's Belly has definitely come up. And then the last two, one Dust Dragon and one Honorary Despia Guardian Chimera. We finally got one. This is ours, so yes. Then let's go to the side deck. Like everyone says, this is dependent on your format, what's going on in your locals. Um, and we're playing two Raiden. We might bump this up to three in the side deck, but it really depends on who we go against. Like Marine says, definitely needs this. And then we're playing the last Nibiru in the side deck. <laughs> Ten, two Danko Sekas, because we don't have um, Eradicate Epidemic Virus. Um, and Danko Seka just stops things. But we didn't see one like Trap Heavy deck, so didn't really do much for us. And then we're playing uh, the two Super Polys in the side deck because it doesn't really work against Kashtira much. Um, but against everything else, it definitely works. And then for the back row hate, we're playing one Harpy's Feather Duster and two Cosmic Cyclones. And then for other targets for a triple attack to thrust, we're playing one Red Geki and one Dark Ruler no more. But since Sprite is on the up and up, we're probably going to bump this up to two or three and throw it in the main deck. Or just put one in the main deck and have two in the side deck. So, depending. Then for the last three, we're playing the last evenly match, Dimensional Barrier, and Branded Banishment. And those are the last of the side deck. Evenly match. I mean, three might be too much in the side deck, in the main deck, because we are going first nowadays. Um, D Barrier and Banishment. Definitely Banishment will go in the main deck because you can just summon your Despia or your Fusion Monster and then just banish your opponent's monsters to summon something, which is amazing. So, that is that.